Welcome to our next lesson of English. So what we're doing um, today is this is a really fun lesson. We are going to change the characters and the setting in a story. OK, so you need to think of some other ideas of what characters or what setting we could have in the story. So in the story, the main character is a princess. But what other characters could we have in the story? We could have. This is where it works much better when you guys are all shouting out the um, names to me. We could have instead of a princess, we could have a girl or boy. We could use our friends names. We could use. Um, oh, we could use who else could we use? We could use an animal. We could have an animal as our main character. We could use our teachers. Or we could have adults that we know. Who else could we have as our main character? We could have a mythical character. So a character that doesn't exist. So, for example, well, princesses do exist, but so, for example, a unicorn doesn't exist, but we could have a mythical um, character, couldn't we? We could have, oh, we could have a famous person. Or we could have, oh, let's see, who else could we have? Oh, it's very hard for me to do this. I'm used to you guys shouting all your wonderful ideas out. And I'm having to think of them all myself. Or we could have. OK, I'm going to leave it there. I can't think of any more at the moment. So our main character could be a girl or a boy. It could be our friends. It could be an animal, uh, teachers or adults. So like, for example, parents, it could be a mythical character or a famous person. And this person, remember, one of your main characters has to turn back into a person. So we need to pick an animal and that animal, we need to also pick a, a person that it needs to turn back into. So instead of a frog, I could pick, well, I'm going to go back to what I said, mythical creature. So, for example, a dragon or a unicorn, something that's not real. I could pick um, a farm animal. I could pick uh, my pet. I could pick a zoo animal. I could pick... Oh, and... Um, and oh could i pick a lizard or something or i could pick an insect okay and the person could turn into could be obviously we could have a prince we could have one of our friends it can be again a teacher it can be someone we know so for example it could be famous person okay or it could be um, just an adult we know okay so what we're going to do is you are going to think of a setting for your story now this is obviously the castle but we could pick anywhere really you might want to pick um, in Daventry. If you're doing, uh, you might want to pick, for example, in a jungle. You might want to pick, oh, I know last time Eli wanted to do a story about being in space. You could pick in space. You might want to pick a story about being in, ooh, in a field. I kind of think of a field with hills. Uh, it might want to be in the sky if you have things that can fly. Oh, what about in a dark, gloomy cave? You might want to pick. Uh, oh, what about a haunted house? 
Ooh. Or you could just pick, for example, the school. Okay. So what you're going to do is you are going to complete this sheet. You are going to think of what your main character is and you're going to draw a picture and you're going to write the name of what your main character is, who they are. So your main character in the princess and the frog is the princess, but you are going to change it. OK, what is the new setting? So obviously in the setting in the princess and the frog, it was the castle. Where is your story going to take place? And the next thing is, who is your other main character? So in the story, it is the frog, but the character changes back into um, a prince. So you need to think of the other main character, which is a frog, and what is the character going to change back into? So today you're going to write what your new character is. You're going to draw a picture and make sure you write the name, where your new setting is, where the story is going to take place who your other main character is. And then I've done arrows here because remember your main character needs to change back into and it needs to be a person. So this this one um, here, let me do a little star. These two here will more than likely be people. OK, and this, remember, is an animal. I'm going to do an A for animal. So this is an animal and these two are people. And then your setting needs to uh, link to your characters okay so if your main character for example is oh maybe it might be miss cad then your setting might be in dslv if your main character is oh who can i think of if it's one of your friends your main setting might be their house or daventry or somewhere like that okay it might be um, so, but it needs to link to it. So the main character in the story was a princess. So the setting was in the castle and the setting would have to be somewhere where your main character lives. So main character and the characters are changed back into the age be uh, people, they need to be humans. And the other character is it's normally an animal. OK, make sure you link the setting to the character. So that's what you've got to do today. You've got to choose your main character and um, your setting and your other character. And then you need to um, take a picture of it and you need to send it to me because I would love to see who and what your main characters are going to be. And then I'm going to choose one of your characters to help me write my story tomorrow. So I wonder if it will be your character that I'll use to help tell my story. OK, bye for now. And I look forward to seeing all your lovely work.